doggone this doggone contraption. What's the matter, Pete? The TV talking back to you? Look at that picture. It's loaded with more snow than a Dakota blizzard. Yeah, no, but there's not much we can do about it in the fringe area. I could throw it out the window. <laughs> well, you better save your energy. I was just up on the barn. That last big blow we had loosened up a lot of wood. I can see by the look in your eyes that I'm elected. Thanks a heap. Ain't got enough to do without shingling the roof. Oh, you don't have to do it right now. You can wait till Joey holds that meeting of his. Our barn's been everything from a gymnasium to a model plane factory. What'll those kids think of next? Well, from what I hear about the junior achievement program, we can expect almost anything. Yeah. Order, order, everybody. The meeting will now come to order. Now, I told you all about the junior achievement program. And you all said you wanted to join. Yes, we sure do. Now, this won't take too much of your time. We'll meet here once a week for only two hours. And that's not too much for business, is it? No. no. Yeah, it's not bad. What kind of business, Joey? Well, that's for us to decide, Packy. I sent for all the stuff we need. Here, you pass them out, Packy. These pamphlets tell all about the JA. But what's more important is we're going to form a corporation and sell stock for 50 cents a share. That way, we'll have the money to buy the raw materials for whatever we need. Boy, and we'll make a lot of money, too. Yeah, if we have any left over after we pay taxes. Taxes? You mean kids like the JCs have to worry about them things, too? <laughs> when you live in the United States, Packy, it's a privilege to be able to pay taxes. And it says here we have to keep accounting records and maintain a car... Carper... Corporate. Corporate banking account. And that's where Mr. Stoneham comes in. He's the president of a bank. I am proud to have been chosen one of your advisors. And I, along with Jim Newton and uh, Pete Wilkie, will do our best to assist you in organizing and operating your company. It takes a lot of thought and preparation to start your own business. But that's why the Junior Achievement Program is a big step in the right direction. Because it gives you training and actual business experience. Now here's your third advisor, Pete Wilkie. What do you say, Pete? I mean, uh, uh, appears, to, appears to me you kids better be thinking of what business you're going into. Come on, you guys, you're not making any sense this way. Wait a minute, now look, anybody who wants to talk from now and has to raise their hand. Okay, Packy, what's your idea? How about making lightning rods? Lightning rods? Yeah. Where'd you get that idea? Right out of this newspaper. It says, the Martin barn was struck by lightning in the recent storm and burned to the ground. The ranch was not equipped with lightning rods. Well, lightning rods are easy enough to make and the materials are cheap. What do you think about it, J.A.'s? Yeah! Wait a minute. Look, we'll take a vote. All in favor of lightning rods, say aye. Aye! All against, say no. Okay, I guess it's lightning rods then. Now, who wants to be the first member to buy stock in the Capital City Junior Achievement Corporation? <laughs> okay, Lonnie, that's five dollars for you. I'll put you down in the book. Me next, Joey. Well, how much have you got, Packy? Ten dollars. He would. Packy's got the first dollar he ever earned. I've been <laughs> saving that for six months to buy a new saddle. But with the profits we'll make, I'll be able to buy a bridle, too. boy, Packy. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I don't think we'll be able to accept you as a member, Packy. Why not? Well, you're too young. It says here you gotta be of high school age. Every time anything exciting happens, I'm too young. If you take my money, you take me too. Well, we sure need all the money we can get. Uh, Joey, look, uh, as long as we're a small community, why not just waive the age limit, huh? Well... Put it to a vote. Okay. All in favor of taking Packy in, say aye. Aye! <laughs> and all against, say no. Okay, Packy, I guess you're in. Hey, why don't we make Packy treasure? Nobody can save money like he can. 
What do you think about that, J.A.'s? Yeah. Hey, pack your treasure. Here you go, Jim. Fine. I don't think we should do anything until we survey the market. What's that mean? Well, my father says that all the big businesses make sure they can sell their products before they start producing it. Oh, we can sell everything that J.C.'s make. Well, I hope you're right, Packy, but I think Lonnie and me ought to go around to all the ranches and make sure there's a market for our lightning rods. Okay. And while you and Lonnie are out riding around in circles, I'll stay here and get started on the stock certificates. Bye. <laughs> Any junk today? Rags, paper, metal? Any junk for sale? Junk? Any junk to sell? Well, howdy, Sonny. Is your pa to home? Nobody's home but me. Oh, too bad. Ain't had much luck around these parts. You got anything to sell? No. Hmm. Hey, what's this? Finest metal in the country, Sonny. You sure? Positively. Good enough to make lightning rods out of? Good enough to make anything out of. How much? What? Oh, I guess it'd be a bit more money than you got, Sonny. Take a look at that, mister. Where'd you get all that money? Didn't you ever hear a junior achievement? Well, I can't say that I... Well, you've heard of us now. We've got a corporation, and I'm treasure. Well, say, I guess I'd just better do business with you. How much? Well, I figured I could get me maybe a hundred dollars for it if I took it over to Capital City. That's way too much. Well, let me see now. I always like to see a smart young fella like you get along. I'll make it seventy-five dollars, but not a cent cheaper. Still too much. I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah? If you'll sell it to me for $50 cash, I'll take it. You're stealing it, Sonny. Take it or leave it. Sold. Yes, sir. It's all yours, Sonny, all yours. Lonnie was right about that survey. Lucky we listened to him. Yeah, everybody's got lightning rods. Well, now we'll have to figure out something else to manufacture. Yeah. Hey, what's all that junk? I bought it to make lightning rods out of. How much? All of it? I, uh, got it at a bargain. Some bargain. Packy, do you know what you've done? I think so. Now, because of me, Capital City Junior Achievement Corporation has gone out of business before they even got started. <laughs> Ask how business is. Oh, Jim. How 
was I to know that all the ranchers already had lightning rods? Well, you still shouldn't have spent the company's money without talking it over with the other members, Packy. I know that now. They fired me. <laughs> well, that's how we learn from mistakes. Yeah, but Packy's mistake busted us. Jim, that TV set's worse than ever. What's the matter with the laughing boys? Business reverses. You know, I seem to remember something in that junior achievement pamphlet about imagination and initiative. Yeah. Well, look, you've got all of this raw material. Why not try to find another way to convert it into something saleable? I wish they'd find a way to convert that TV set into something that works. Oh, Pete, it's no use. We live in a fringe area. All the ranchers have the same problem. Say, Jim, why don't you get a fringe antenna? Like the one they're advertising. Yeah, because fringe antennas cost quite a bit of money, Joey. And that's something that ranchers like us have the least of. Don't make those things out of cotton and strain, Packy. Take plenty of know-how. It's easy. You can do it. Well, maybe I could at that. I've seen plenty of them in the radio manuals. Just add some gadgets to regular antenna and you got it made. Well, then follow me. Well, think you can make a fringe antenna out of this junk? Well, I can try. We'll have to test it out on our own set first. Then we'll try to sell it. Well, let's get to work. Look now, Pete. Worse. Now it looks like an Alaskan blizzard. Say, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, boy, it sure does. And I bet it works real keen, too. <laughs> Look, even Fury likes it. Well, the JCs might be back in business again. Why are you looking up on the roof for? Well, the barn's the highest building on the place. We run the leading wire from the house up there. But Jim told us to stay off the roof. Oh, he just didn't want us playing up there. But this is business. Boy, will Pete be surprised if we get this TV working. Well? Ain't no use, Jim. Just toss the doggone thing out the window. Maybe that TV man in town can fix it. We'll do no good to send for him. Just throwing good money after bad. Here, hold this, Packy. Okay. What's the matter, Fury? Are you mad because you can't go up on the roof with us? Here, Packy, go up first. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy, Fury, or you'll wreck our antenna. Here, Packy, hold this.
this in my sleep. Boy, you get a swell view from up here. Never mind the view, Packy, and hand me the wire. Well, we're all finished now. Come on, let's go. Help! Help! the channel. Clears a bell. Don't let me fall, Joey. I won't, Peggy, but, but I don't know how long this antenna will hold out. I call entertainment, Jim. Anytime you want to get away from ranching, you can go into the TV repairing business. <laughs> I still don't know what I did to make it work. <laughs> hey, look at that pretty little gal. First time the set works right, he has to start agitating. Now get Fury. Get away from here. Come on. Come on, get away. is the end. It tricks us into thinking it's working and then it goes out altogether. I think we better go out and see why Fury's kicking up all that ruckus. Yeah. So that's why they set Black down. Just let me get at that horse. Oh, wait a minute, Pete. What's the matter, Fury? What's the matter? What is it? I don't know. We better find out. Come on. Joey! Up here, Jim! Hang on, Joey! I can't hold on much longer, Jim! I'm coming up. All right, let him go, Joey.
You all right, Packy? I think so. I thought you boys understood that roof was off limits. What were you doing up there? We were putting up our fringe antenna. The, the what? So that's it. No wonder we finally got a clear picture. You did? You mean it worked? Sure did. Until Fury pulled out the lead in to get us to come to your rescue. It worked. The Jaycees are back in business again. Well, it was Packy's idea to use all that junk he bought to make fringe antennas. Well, it's one survey that's already been made. You know, you've got a product that every rancher in the valley will buy. Even if you almost broke your necks trying to prove it. We gotta call a director's meeting right away and tell them we're back in business. Come on, come on, Fury. The Capital City Junior Achievement Corporation is declaring a dividend. This is our profit from the past month. And all from fringe and tennis. I'd like to make a motion to make Packy Lambert treasurer again. Yeah. 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 Thanks, everybody. Well, I'd like to add our congratulations. You know, it means a lot to us to see you kids make a victory out of a seeming defeat. And I promise you all it'll mean a lot more to you in the future. Emil? And I promise you that your adult advisors will continue to help you write the success story that you young people have already begun to write so well. And I promise never again to spend any more JAC Treasury money without the okay of the Board of Directors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.